What's good everybody, it's CJ Beats. We're back at it again today. Today we're going to make a DaBaby type beat in Logic Pro X. Let's head to the studio. All right, so let's start cooking up. So first things first, I'm going to uh, come up with a chord progression. That's usually what I do in order to, you know, set the foundation for the uh, for the beat. And for that chord progression, I'm going to be using uh, Retro Vibes, which is an Omnisphere bank, which you can get on my site. I'll put a link in the uh, cards right here, as well as in the description if you want to go check that out. Okay, so let's come up with this chord progression. So I'm just going to actually copy this MIDI over to another sound from that Retro Vibes bank. All right, so once duplicated, I'm going to hit Command A. I'm going to quantize that selection. Right click, force legato, like so. Hit shorten. For this sound, what I'm going to do is add an arpeggiator to it. Bring that down to an eighth note. Do that selection, maybe one or two octave ranges. <laughs> X on my keyboard now and select both of these and put them onto another bus. And then from there, I'm gonna add a EQ. I'm gonna use a vintage EQ. Let's do a graphic one. We can turn off that click track. All right, now that we got our foundation laid out, I'm going to get into the 808. The bounce I'm going for is sort of that, uh, that Jetson made type uh, bounce, you know what I mean? Like shorter sounding 808s and, um, you know, leaving a lot of pauses or spaces in between um, the notes. That'll definitely emphasize the, the style that I'm going for today. start adding some drum elements. And we can get right into the hi-hat now. So normally for my hi-hats, what I'll do is uh, use a brush tool and come in with an eighth note, find a pitch that I want. holding shift down and then selecting every other one and then turning the velocity down That's dope. now we can simply duplicate by holding alt down now we can come in uh, again with a brush tool and we'll select we'll delete some of these and then we'll uh, add some some rolls maybe some fast ones 64 note and what I like doing is
trying to pitch that selection. It's a nice little bounce. Last thing I'm going to add here is um, a flute, and this flute you can actually find inside a Logic. It's called the Indian Bans Bansuri flute. Sort of sounds like a pan flute, I guess. So I'm just going to play the beat back and uh, try to come up with a flute melody that we can layer on top of this. <laughs> I'm going to go into that MIDI from that flute that I just recorded and uh, mess around with it a little more. Maybe add some flutters. I don't know. We'll see. Um, so let's have a look at the MIDI. I'm not going to quantize it. I'm going to keep it as is to make it sound more natural. So right there, we could actually build a flutter. So the way I do it is um, I'm going to use a shorter note, like maybe a 16th note. Drop that in there. If you leave a little bit of space like that, you can do a couple of them actually. They don't really have to be on, you know, on beat because it's uh, it's more of an effect of the flute. We can uh, select all of them. Let's do a little humanize on this as well. That's going to make sure that some of these. It's going to make sure that uh, you know these are like different volume levels as well. So I'm going to select the really loud ones, which are in orange, and bring those down. Add a little more percussion to this uh, to make the uh, the drums hit a little harder. Also, a, uh, also a point where we can maybe add a kick or something like that.
All right, so all the sounds that I wanted to incorporate into this beat are basically in there now. I'm gonna come up with an arrangement for this, so intro, verses, hooks, etc. And uh, the way I like to do it is usually leaving myself a uh, four bar space like this. We're gonna come up with an intro, so I'm gonna just copy this over like so. And uh, maybe we can incorporate um, like some halftime in this. So I'm gonna use uh, the so, so I'm gonna use the cable guys halftime for that. Alright, so now I'm going to hit A uh, for automation on my keyboard, come over to halftime, select the mix, click here, and now I can set pointers on when the halftime will be enabled and when it's going to be disabled so right before the drop right there I'm going to disable it and uh, I'm probably gonna go right into the verse for this and then you know build into the hooks so I'm gonna lay out my stuff like so. so right there the kick comes in so I'm gonna leave that keep the 808s just like that Now we could start incorporating that flute. Alright, so I think this beat is pretty much done. I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, tutorial today. If you have any questions or whatever, put those in the comment section. If you like this video, uh, if it helped you at all, feel free to hit that subscribe and that bell button so you're notified anytime I upload some new content. My name is CJ, I'm out for now. Peace.